Hello, my name's Alan Birch. I'm a pimp maker. I work in a studio in Waterfoot and I've been doing workshops in schools and galleries for many years. So I'm here in my studio and I'm going to show one or two of my prints. Here's a line on cut of a cliff in Dorset, the south of England. A line on cut inked in different coloured inks. Here's another print, a landscape of a rock face there. You can actually see the rocks and the sky. And this is inked in black ink. Here's another print, a landscape of a rock face there. You can actually see the rocks and the sky. And this is inked in black ink. So here's a printing press in my studio. That's the metal plate I've printed this print from. And how I would do this, I would put ink on the plate, clean the ink off so it only stays in the lines. Then this would go on the press under the blankets. Paper would go on top. And then I would turn the wheel here and it would actually press the actual paper onto the plate and make a picture using the ink. Today I'm going to show you how to print using ink and a roller or a brush, using plastics to make a picture. So I have a range of plastics here, bits I've taken from the recycling at home. Hopefully everybody will be recycling, it's good for the environment, it's good to get to that habit. I've also got a couple of things I found on the street which have obviously washed so you don't get too much um, mess on them but I'm going to use them to print from. So the materials we need today for this technique, this relief printing about the press, because obviously you don't have one at home. I've got some printing ink here. You can also use acrylic paint if you've got that at home. I've got a roller, but you could also use a stiff brush. I mean, I have these in stock, but I will put at the end of the video, I'll put a little bit, some email addresses and websites where you can buy the materials from. So, I'm going to squeeze some ink out here onto the tray. You can use a piece of plastic, anything I've got a printing tray, piece of perspex, acetate will do, just to get the ink rolled. Now I'm rolling the ink. I don't want too much on the roller, but enough to roll onto the plastic. This is water-based ink, so you won't get too messy at home. You can get oil-based, but I would use water-based ink at home. So, to make a surface print, we roll ink across the top of the plastic. And it only sticks to the raised bits. Obviously, I used a roller there. Roller's the best, but you can also apply the ink with a stiff brush and just put it on the top of the plastic. Don't paint the whole thing inside the lower bits. I'm only brushing the ink onto the top of the plastic, the raised piece. And I'm going to roll ink over lots of pieces of plastic. Just to get the texture and patterns. I'm making a mess there, it doesn't matter, that's going to be thrown away in a minute. I've got bits of this kind of sequin waste here which I've found. I'm going to carry on inking. I put the paper down because it saves you getting mess on your table of anything you're using at home. More plastics here, just to get the shapes. And I've got the glove to ink as well, not forgetting the glove. Now, I'm going to use the inked objects to actually press onto the paper with the ink to make, I'm going to make some kind of robot monster character. So I've got the bubble that here I've inked just for the body. And that's going to go in the middle. I'm going to press with my fingers. I'm not going to roll. It's easy to press with your fingers on the back. And you can see these amazing textures come out. All the circle in the bubble that there have made this textured body, almost like scales. Use a plastic container here at the base for the head and the neck. Just get some circles there. Might do that twice. I'm going to use these two for the eyes here. 
And I'm going to just press down, that's all I'm doing. A little love for the other hand here. Press down quite hard with the hand. Now I'm going to work on the legs. I use a bit of this mesh for the base, just a kind of continuation from the bubble wrap. Some rough kind of texture. Get the net, netting texture, a bit like a kind of dress. Now the legs, which are going to be these. Put a few of these there. A bit more texture in here. Just going to add a few more textures here to the dress to get some extra texture there. You've got nice layering. Then I'm going to add this one also for there to kind of get the patterns increasing, make it a much stronger shape. And then I'm just going to use these, this whole leaf, just to kind of give a shoe shape for the feet. So you can use natural shapes as well, but at the moment there's not many old leaves in the garden. So plastic works better, but these will be the shoes. You can see the veins of the leaves coming out. I'm just going to strengthen the shoulders to fill, fill the kind of space for the gloves to connect the body. And then I've got this new piece of plastic just to add some teeth to the mouth, to some texture here. So here's the final result, a monster made from inking old plastics on the top, so the texture from the plastic then makes patterns on the paper. This is newsprint, quite thin paper. You can use copy paper on your thinking your print if you want to, but thinner paper the better. And I'm going to put some addresses onto the end of this video where you can buy the materials like the ink and the rollers if you want to, or just use a brush and acrylic paint, like I said earlier, if you want to keep it simple. You'll get better the more you try. And if you make anything interesting, send them to the Whitaker.